Nice. 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 You've been working out? A little bit. I saw the calories, <laughs> I saw the calories I see that's in what his hands, and I was like, I yeah. good posture, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got scoly <laughs> What's going on everyone? It's your boys, the Jax Dudes, Shamey Barrett and Alan Parasso. And today's special guest, Ricky McWilliams from Bank of England. Woo! If uh, you guys have previously worked with us or plan to work with us in the future, you'll probably hear his name thrown out around a lot. He is one of our preferred lenders. True. And he's, for me personally, I've worked with him ever since I started my career in real estate. Same. So we wanted to bring him along and as part of our segment as realtors, again, we're with Exit Real Estate Gallery, by the way. We wanted to, of course, educate you all in regards to the home buying process. And of course, one of the most important parts, yes, probably the most important part is financing. That's right. right. What so do you true. say? So true. Most people buy homes, they don't have that money just sitting in their checking and savings account. Wait, you don't? Not that I know of. You're right. I mean, yeah. most real estate transactions do require financing. Right. So, of course, we wanted to address those issues here and kind of start foundationally speaking. How does this process even work? Where do we, how do you go about this? So, we built up some questions here. What we're going to talk about today is, of course, how do you even begin this process of financing? What is the first step? Getting the loan approved. And then at the end, as a little treat for you all, we're going to talk about a little bit of a yeah, can you say that? this? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna help out. Yeah, down, yeah. down payment assistance. There you Thank go. you. <laughs> you want to get right into it? Yeah, for sure. So we we have the person. They they see a house. They met us already. Case. Hey, first question is like, where do we go? What's the first step in that, yeah. uh, that approval process? All right. So the very first step is setting up a meeting with a lender. That way we can discuss, you know, what's your vision for buying a home? What is it that you're looking to accomplish? You know, what's your payment range? What are you comfortable with on a monthly payment? That's really the first place we want to go is, you know, we want to discuss what it is you're looking to accomplish and then identify what's going to be the best financing option for you. Mm -hmm. And one of the key components to that is your monthly payment. So we look at that and we do a comparison and we make sure that we stay within your comfort zone. Sometimes we might stretch that comfort zone because you realize that it, you know we can make it work. That's the most important first step. So, for example, contacting a lender, do you like being over the phone or being in person? Better? Yeah, I prefer in person. Now, I do a lot of appointments over the phone. I'm all for it. But if you can arrange it and you can come to our office, we're at Jack's Beach, it's more productive and we can really get to know each other better and I'm able to show you more information in person than I am over the phone. It leads to a smoother transaction. The buyers have more confidence moving forward and that's one of the key things that a buyer needs to have. It still can be very challenging yeah. hmm. emotionally. Oh, yeah. and, and so we wanna make sure that you have as much confidence as you possibly can going forward with the home buying process. Yeah. True, true. Where do you direct them next? What is the next step beyond that? So we need to fill out a loan application, but it's an online form. I can, Link below. I, <laughs> I can text it to you. There. I can drop it in your inbox. That form that I'm gonna send over to you allows me to get collect the basic information, set up a loan file, so when we actually get on the phone or we meet in person, you know, we, we don't have to discuss all the minor details. We can get straight to the point, which is discussing numbers on a property that you're interested in, getting straight to the point as far as your loan options, and getting to the most important thing before you start submitting offers, which is getting you pre-approved. So we got the pre-approval going. Yep. Uh, kind of give us like a quick little process of that loan approval. Uh, we got a pre-approved buyer, you've been pre-approved, and now you're ready to go out and shop some homes. Um, so as soon as you find a, a home that you're considering, that you're interested in, send that address over to me. I'll start running the numbers on it so you can see what the estimated payment, see the cash to close, if there's buyer closing costs, and if you have a down payment. <laughs> and then we'll get an offer in, we'll submit that offer. If it gets accepted, now the actual loan process begins. What is a typical time frame? A typical yeah. time frame is, I'd say, 25 to 30 days. 
We mentioned at the beginning of this video that we had some really cool information to share with you all, and that is now. We're going to talk about how we can assist you make this uh, home buying process even easier. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So tell us a little bit more. What, what, yeah. What, so what's going to help us? What's okay. This? So this is specifically related to a first-time home buyer. If you haven't owned a property, if your name hasn't been on a property in the last three years, you are considered a first-time home buyer. So if you owned a property back in 2010 and you sold it in 2012, you have not been on the title to a property within the last three years, mm -hmm. and that makes you a first-time home buyer. Now here's the exciting news. With being a first-time home buyer, assuming that you meet the credit, income, and qualifications of these programs, we can get up to $10,000 in down payment assistance also can be applied towards covering closing costs for you. Okay. Now there, there's some important details that we'll discuss in our uh, consultation and making sure this program really is the right fit for you. But we have a wide variety of assistance programs. We also have grant programs. Um, those are 100% forgivable at the time of closing. So there's no stipulations attached to them. There's no additional payment attached to them. Um, we close and that was the lender gifting you money off essentially and it's important to understand what is your cost in the transaction and how can we minimize that if it makes sense to you financially so awesome cool that was really good information that you shared with us and for you all as well so we're you know i think that's that's pretty much the end of our video but before we end the segment we actually wanted to do a quick summary of exactly what we just talked about in the video the different steps to this process here we're just going to help us out yeah, absolutely so the first step was you want to schedule an appointment with your lender and uh, fill out that application form it takes less than five minutes it's simple it's an app it's online text email it it's easy um, number two is you know, let's complete the pre-approval. Let's exchange some docs. Let's verify uh, your credit, income, and available funds to close so we can get that pre-approval letter in your hands so you can go out and do step three, which is shop homes. So you drop, shop two, drop. And as you find the properties you are interested in, you're sending those properties over to me. I'm running the numbers for you so you can see what that estimated payment and cash to close is gonna be. And then four is we have a accepted offer, which is what we're striving for. And once we have that accepted offer, the name of the game is to put together a complete loan file so we can get it through underwriting who makes the ultimate decision, which is a clear to close. Hey, that is a magic phrase. Yes. We love that phrase. Yes, when we, we get all clear, love that phrase. when we get the clear to close, that means we have final <laughs> approval to finance your loan. And at that point, we arrange closing with the title company and we get everything in line. We give you wire instructions or you can go to your bank and do a cashier's check. We'll make sure that you have all those instructions and we get you to the closing table so you can get those keys. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Ricky, always a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you for guys. coming Glad out. to be here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely have to have you on as programs come out for sure. Oh, yeah, right, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's the exchange you know we want. Oh, yeah, for sure. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Shami Barrett. And I'm Alan Grosso, and we're with Exit Real Estate Gallery and. Our special guest, Ricky McWilliams with Bank of England Mortgage. All right. All right. Until next time. Do it. Bye. Do it, do it. <laughs>